Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the Jameson Beanie, which is an attractive looking beanie that has worked in two different colors. It's uh, fairly thick because of these spike stitches uh, that are worked throughout and today I'm, I'm working it in two different colors. The beanie looks great with a pom-pom or without. It's really up to, do, to you. For the tutorial today, I'm going to be using some Color Theory yarn by Lion Brand. This is a worsted weight, 100% acrylic. I do find it's on a little bit of the lighter side if you're looking to substitute it with something. But you're going to need um, about two balls. Now, I used about half of each ball for the beanie. Each ball has 246 yards in it. So aim for about 125 to 140 yards of each color. You're going to need two. I'm using this uh, color of Thunder for color A and then B Pollen which is this yellow for color B. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and I'll have links to both of these items in the description of the video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of other patterns and crochet stitch tutorials here and this channel is updated every week. Now the Jameson beanie is worked from the brim up. Today in the vid video I'm going to be showing you how to make the adult size so to fit a 20 to 22 inch circumference head. So you're going to start by making a slip knot working with your color A and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be 13 chains. Once you have 13 chains beginning in the second chain from your hook you're going to work one slip stitch and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. If you would like, if you're not a fan of working slip stitches in your brim, you're welcome to use either a single crochet or a half double crochet. So today I'm working slip stitches. I'll slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to have a total of 12 stitches. When you come all the way across, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working slip stitches, this time in the back loop only of each stitch across. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you see a loop that is the closest to you and a loop that is further away. This loop that is further away is your back loop only. So you're going to insert your hook under that stitch only and work a slip stitch, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Once you come across at the end of row two, chain one, turn your work and you're going to repeat row two. Slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. You're going to continue repeating row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches. And that's when it's relaxed and laid flat. When, it stretch it, when you stretch it slightly, it should measure approximately 20 to 22 inches to fit the circumference of your head. So go ahead, repeat row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches and then meet me back here. Once you have worked 16 to 17 inches, this is what your work looks like. From the beginning, you're going to take your short end and fold it up so that it meets the other short end. 
being careful not to twist. And we're going to crochet a seam just along these two short ends to hold it together. So for your seam, you're going to work slip stitches, working in the back loop only of that first side, over across, picking up the other side also in the back loop only, and then work a slip stitch through both thicknesses. You're going to do this through each stitch all the way across. Make sure that you don't skip any stitches or that you don't work into any stitches uh, twice. You just want a flat seam all the way across. I'm on my final stitch here. Once you come across, you're going to turn your brim so that it's right side out. Your seam will be on the inside. And you're going to turn your work so that you're working around this long, unfinished edge. You're now ready to work the hat body. For the hat body, it is worked in rounds. We're going to start by chaining one, working around this rough edge of our brim. We're going to begin by working 70 half double crochet stitches evenly all the way around. If it helps, you can place a stitch marker about halfway around and work half the stitches on one side, half on the other. It's really up to you, but we're going to work 70 half double crochet stitches. If you are going to change the size of your beanie, you will need a multiple of 10 stitches for this round of your hat. So work 70 stitches and meet me back here. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain one, do not turn your work. We're going to continue working with our color A and for round two, you're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, we are going to be switching to our color B and I'll show you how I like to do that uh, when I come around. So go ahead, single crochet in each stitch all the way around, all the way around until you have one stitch remaining and then we're going to switch to our color B. When you have one stitch remaining in your round two, you're going to switch to your color B. To switch to your color B, what I like to do is insert my hook into that final stitch, yarn over with my color A, and draw up a loop. Drop the color A, place the color B on your hook, and pull through. You're now all set to continue working with the color B. You can then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. We're going to leave our color A attached, so do not fasten it off, and we're going to just pull it up on the inside of our hat as we work. For rounds three and four, now working with your color B, you're going to chain one and single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So single crochet into each stitch. With that color B, you're going to work two rounds. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, chain one, and repeat. So this is rounds three and four. At the end of round four, you're going to switch back to your color A in the final stitch.
At the end of your round four, you're going to switch back to your color A in the final stitch, and it should be just hanging down here on the inside and you can pull it up and pull through. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. Do not fasten off your color B. You're going to leave it inside your hat just as you did for color A. Now for round five, working with your color A, you're going to chain one. We're now going to work five spike stitches, working over top of the first stitch and under the stitch two rows below. So you're going to bring your hook in front and under the next stitch two rows below, insert your hook, yarn over and draw your stitch up to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through two. This is a spike stitch. So you're going to work five spike stitches in each of the next five stitches, two rows below. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. So these are just normal single crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. So work one spike stitch into the stitches, each of the next five stitches, two rows below. and one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round five, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round six, you're going to simply single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to switch back to your color B and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round seven, you're now working in color B. You're going to begin by chaining one, and you're going to work a single crochet into each of the first five stitches. Next, you're going to work one spike stitch working over the next stitch and into the stitch two rounds below and you're going to work five of them. So one spike stitch over each of the next five stitches. You're then going to repeat work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. and one long spike single crochet over each of the next five stitches into the stitch two rounds below. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round eight, you're going to 
chain one, continuing to work with your color B, and you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. At the end of round eight, you'll have switched back to your color A. You're going to chain one. We're now going to repeat the pattern, uh, essentially until your hat measures approximately nine inches from the beginning down here. So you're going to, for rounds nine through to 36, you're going to repeat rounds five, six, seven, and eight uh, seven more times and then you're going to repeat rounds five and six once more so your round six is going to be a an end on a single crochet round in your color A so that will bring you to the end of round 38 Again, you want to work until your work from the beginning measures approximately 9 inches. And then you're going to meet me back here and we're going to close the top of our hat. At the end of round 38, this is what your work is going to look like from the beginning down at your brim all the way through to the top and you'll have ended off with a single crochet round worked in your color A. You're then going to fasten off leaving a long tail and I recommend leaving about 15 to 20 inches so you want it to be a little bit uh, extra long. You're going to then thread that tail through your yarn needle and we're going to use it to close the top of our hat. To do so you're going to take your yarn and needle and you're going to weave the yarn in and out through the tops of the stitches on round 38. I am inserting my hook into the place where I would typically insert my crochet hook just into the space there. Try not to insert your needle through the strand of yarn you want to work in the spaces. I just find it makes it a little bit easier to close with a little bit less resistance. So insert your hook or your needle through those spaces and weave it in and out through the tops of your stitches all the way around the top of your hat. You want to go all the way around until your back start again. When you come to the start, you're simply going to pull the yarn gently so that it pulls the top of your hat closed. Just like so. You don't want to pull it too tight. You don't want to break your string, but just pull it. I have about an inch to an inch and a half opening here. You're then going to take your needle and just put it through that larger opening and turn your hat inside out. And then at this time, if you need to pull it tight again, you can.
You're then going to take your yarn needle and you're going to simply sew that smaller opening closed. So just simply sew it all the way across that smaller opening. You want to do this on the inside of the hat so that if there is a little bit of the seam, it's all right. It's going to show through to the inside and give you a, a nicer opening, uh, a nicer close uh, when you look at the right side of your hat. So all the way across. When you come to the end, you're going to want to tie a little bit of a knot just to make sure that it's nice and secure and not going to open as you're wearing it. Tuck in your end. And fasten off. You can go ahead and weave in any other ends that you might have on your hat. Turn your hat right side out. And that is your Jameson beanie. You can add a pom-pom to the top if you'd like or leave it without. It's really up to you. So that's it for the Jameson beanie. Thank you so much for joining me. And once again, I invite you to subscribe if you happen to make the beanie and share it on social media. Feel free to tag Rich Textures Crochet so that I can come and enjoy it. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.